There are more podcasts on YouTube than there are stars in the night sky. Everyone has been convinced that they're a unique, special little butterfly and that their insight is invaluable. And now that there's so much easy access to recording equipment, everyone gets this insidious little idea planted deep in their noodle that it's time to start a podcast. And my god, I tell you, it, it's, it's, a, it's a plague. It's a disease, a, a virus that's infecting the mind of the most insecure and insufferable people of all time. For some reason, once that AT2020 touches their hand, they just scream their insecurity from the mountaintop with authority, proudly. And it blows my mind. But I've never seen insecurity projected quite like what I'm about to show you today. So I am still shocked that he hasn't scrubbed this podcast episode from the entire cyberspace, just wiped it from the internet. Like, if, if this was a clip of mine, I would have paid every penny I have to my name in order to ensure this never sees the light of day again. That this clip stays buried. Like the fucking Millennium Puzzle from Yu-Gi-Oh. It is that <laughs> embarrassing. Like, you, you couldn't lock me up in Guantanamo Bay and torture this clip out of me. And yet he still has it on his channel. So the podcast is like a bootleg fresh and fit where they just get a bunch of women together and ask them stupid questions and then rate each other's beauty. And then he gets really offended, like visibly upset, and I really thought he was going to start bawling his eyes out crying in the fetal position. And I've watched a couple of their episodes now because I was curious if this was like an isolated thing. But no, this is pretty common. This is like a staple in their show from what I can tell, where they just have this section where they ask the women that they bring on to rate their beauty. The, the rate the podcast hosts beauty. Listen, ladies, <laughs> we're rating just off physical appearance, just off beauty, okay? Same standards. We, trust me, we're not going to get hurt, okay? That's the biggest lie ever told since the time Kellogg's tried to convince the world that sugar doesn't make you fat. So, the segment is Rate Our Appearance, basically, which is some actual middle school, literal baby brain man-child behavior shit. That is insecurity at its finest, to have the women you bring on as guests rate your appearance. That's so stupid. I'm surprised they don't also play Spin the Bottle and Truth or Dare. And maybe they do, I've only watched a couple of their episodes, but... He says that they're not going to get offended with the ratings. Well, do I have news for you? All right, oh, cool. What the fuck? All right, so now what I want you to do is, ladies, real quick, don't fucking waste my time. Rate the guys. Do me a favor, Josh. Stand up real quick, man. Everybody look at him once, man. He's not going to stand up again, all right? So I want you to rate me, my co-host, and then our fucking producer. Go from one to ten. Just off beauty. Go. When he does these sections, it really seems like he's some kind of basketball coach who's really upset at the team. Like, he gets very aggressive with all of it. Like, don't waste my fucking time. Listen, we're going to do the drill right now. And we're going to do it right. So stand the fuck up, Josh. Look at him. Now spin around, Josh. Okay, good. Drop your pants, Josh. Good. Now rate everything you just saw. Now, don't waste my time. Like, I don't know why he gets, like, so upset even before they hear ratings. Like, he immediately goes into these sections combative. For, like I, And I watched the whole episode up until this point. Like, he's pretty blunt and, like, like, very much so most of the time. But when it gets to this one in particular, he's, like, angry. Like, even before anything happens, he's already angry. Yeah, speaking yeah, yeah. speaking to the fucking mic. I would rate you. First you're rating me, and then him, and okay. then him. Go. Um, I'll rate you a seven. All right, what is he? I'll rate you an eight, All right. and I'll rate Josh an eight also. Okay, what about you? Go. Uh, I would rate you a eight. Okay. Nine. Okay. Come on, he just fucking stood up, bro. Like, come on. I don't even know what he's getting upset with here. She only took like an extra two seconds to take another look at the guy. It's like he just lost a gold split in a speed run to this extra two second time loss. Like, it's not that big of a deal. I don't know why he's so on edge. It seems like he just really hates the guests that they bring on. Because when he's talking to his boys, he's like much more jovial and joking and smiley. But the second the conversation shifts to the rest of the class here, like the group of women over there, he turns into like a drill sergeant and starts getting extremely serious and, and loud. So I don't know why they even bring on women to this podcast when they don't even really want them there. And I also don't not know why women keep agreeing to go on shows like these, because half the time it's them just like saying, you're not good looking, and shit like that. Like, right after this rating section of rating the podcast hosts, the podcast hosts go through and rate all the women. And they literally give them twos, threes, and fours. And make sure that they know that the hosts don't find them attractive. 
So I don't really get why women keep signing up for this shit just to get insulted by podcast hosts. And they don't say anything or do anything. Like, the women will insult each other sometimes. Like, they don't ever push back against the hosts at all. So then they just walk away looking silly from all of it. Like, all of it is just a net loss for the women that go on these shows. I don't know why they keep doing it. Mm, I would say nine. All right. What about you over there? Go. Two. Okay. <laughs> give him a nine okay what is what is he over there i'll give him a 10 because he invited me all right so again (laughs) you sound like a stupid ass bitch i'm trying to figure out why you rated me a two because we're not we're not going off our interactions we're going off beauty i don't like like i don't give a fuck he's light-skinned just like me and you just gave him a nine you gave me a two you only gave me a two because of the whole interaction that we've been having right so do me a favor get the fuck up and get the fuck out Thank you. Yeah, get out. Spoken like a man whose feelings weren't hurt at all and wasn't offended by the two rating. So he tries to justify it with, you only rated me a two because we had a disagreement earlier, which I guess they did. But even still, this is an extreme overreaction to getting rated a two. The insecurity is palpable. You can fucking taste the salt here. So what the fuck? Stupid ass bitch. Make sure she gets her bag and phone, too. Make sure she doesn't take the wrong fucking phone, dummy. All right, cool. So now, again. You can actually hear that lump in his throat start to form from all the emotion building up inside of him. Get out of here, stupid bitch. Hey, make sure she grabs the right phone and and not someone else's phone because she's so dumb. She probably won't know which one's her phone. Dumb idiot. She's real stupid. You're stupid. I'm a two. No, you're a two. Unsurprisingly, this turned their own community against them for the episode. A lot of the chat messages pop up on screen, so you're just seeing things popping up saying like, damn, just because she gave you a two, what the fuck? Or something like this where it's like, thought you wanted your show to last. Like, like come on, man. It's it's because it's ridiculous. It's very clear temper tantrum over getting a two. If you were someone that was actually getting pussy, if you were really slamming ham and glazing donuts, you wouldn't care if one girl didn't find you attractive or rejected you. You wouldn't care. You would laugh it off like a normal person. So one girl gives you a two and it shatters your whole ego and you publicly melt down about it? That's such a bad and embarrassing look. And he tries to justify it, like I said, by saying, eh, she only gave me that two because of our negative interaction from moments ago. Just pure huffing of copium. We're just going off physical beauty, okay? Not what we've been talking about, not my fucking arguments, not on none of that, okay? I want you to rate me, him, and then him. Go. Mm. Can you stand up for a second? Uh, you didn't see me before the show. Yeah, but I just forgot. I mean, I'm just I... stand. It's not that hard. <laughs> okay, on, you're an eight. God damn it, bro. Go ahead, rate him. Podcast has now turned into like a hostage situation here. All the women seem on edge, and I actually just can't believe they didn't leave after that. Like, again, I don't understand why women keep signing up for this shit. Like, th- no one seems to be having any fun there. The hosts especially don't seem to be having any fun. This guy's co-host seems miserable, but he does liven up it a little bit when he gets to rate the other women and gives them, like, threes, fours, and, and fives and all that. But it's just so awkward and weird. The only explanation that I can come up with, the only rational way of explaining this is that the reason women are signing up for this show or shows like it is because they're being paid for their time so it's like an hourly wage just to go there and be insulted or bouncing stupid questions off of that's the only thing that almost makes sense like so they just come on here to play a game of grade my friend's appearance for two and a half hours or whatever i mean really someone summed up the situation really nicely in the comments they said podcast is called unfiltered yet kicks a girl out for her opinion And that is just such a nice, concise way of breaking it down and the silliness of all of it. Again, I watched a couple episodes just to try and get like an understanding of the content. It just, there's nothing there. Everyone seems miserable most of the time or they bounce the dumbest questions around. They always just do a great R appearance thing, which who wants to listen or watch that? Like I, as a viewer, let's say that I was a huge fan of this podcast. Why would I want to keep seeing what women say about my podcast hosts? Like, why would I care? There's nothing there. There's no entertainment there. Especially when one of them's super insecure about all of it, who's going to freak out if he doesn't get a nine. It just doesn't make any sense to me. So yeah, just wanted to talk about it a little bit. That's it. See ya.